Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, where we delve into the unknown and uncover some of the world's greatest mysteries. Today, we are going to take a journey into the heart of the Bermuda Triangle, an area known for its strange disappearances and mysterious events. On December 5, 1945, Flight 19, a three-hour long routine training mission, took off from Florida. There were 14 crew members on the flight, led by their flight leader, a highly experienced pilot and war veteran. About two hours after takeoff, their compass stopped working, and their backup compass failed too. Charles Carroll Taylor was the squadron leader, and after the compass broke down, confusing messages were sent over radio transmission. At 4.56 in the evening, Taylor commanded the rest of the planes to fly east. But some of the crew aboard the flight believed that they were already flying east of Florida and that they needed to fly westward. At 7.04 p.m., Taylor received the last radio transmission from Taylor and all five planes are lost forever. A search and rescue Marin aircraft took off to find Flight 19, but while looking for them, they too disappeared. To date, there is no clue about these planes. The Bermuda Triangle is a mysterious part of the ocean where more than 100 aircraft and ships have disappeared over the last several decades. It lies between Florida and the USA, Puerto Rico and Bermuda in the north, and spans more than 500,000 square miles. Tailies of the Bermuda Triangle are older than 500 years, and Christopher Columbus reported that when he was passing by this area, he saw a strange light that looked like a ball of fire. Over the next few eras, several names were given to this area, such as the Graveyard of the Atlantic, Sea of Doom, and Sargasso Graveyard. In 1964, an article by Vincent H. Gaddis titled The Deadly Bermuda Triangle was used to create a mystery, claiming that there is something peculiar in this area of the ocean because of which so many aircraft and ships disappear. The mystery became so popular that many books were written on it, many films and computer games were made, and there were songs about the Bermuda Triangle too. In 1881, the Ellen Austin, a 210-foot-long ship, was traveling from London to New York. On its way, it encountered an unidentified ship near the Bermuda Triangle area. The captain of the Ellen Austin decided to go aboard the ship to see what had happened, and after two days, the captain set foot on the unidentified ship. There was a lot of stuff on the new ship, and everything was where it should have been. The captain decided to send some of his crew members on the ship and continue their journey with both ships. But then came a storm, and the unidentified ship had disappeared. After the storm was over, the captain tried to look for the ship, and he spotted it with a spyglass from a distance. The Bermuda Triangle is an intriguing and legendary story, but unfortunately, it is not possible to verify it properly. There are many theories for it, such as aliens, a giant sea monster, and a peculiar area of the ocean. One of the explanations is based on magnetism, which states that the North Pole of the Earth and the magnetic North Pole are two distinct points. However, there are some areas on the Earth where the magnetic and geographic North Poles are close together, known as the geographic North Pole. This is because when people use the compass, they take this into account. This area in the ocean stretches across a long distance with shallow waters. It is said that in the olden days, ships got stuck there due to shallow waters and hidden shoals. It also has one of the highest rates of hurricanes in the world, with China at number one, the USA at number two, Cuba at number three, and Florida at number four. Methane hydrates is the fourth explanation, as it is hypothesized that when there is an excessive amount of methane bubbles in the water, the density of the water gets lower and the buoyancy of a ship cannot be maintained, and so the ship drowns. It is the same logic as when the salt content of the water is high and it becomes easier for things to float. The most important details in this text are that when we start to notice things more, we start to find them more often around us. This is true for the Bermuda Triangle where some big aircraft and vessels have disappeared. However, in many areas around the world, such as the Malaysia Airlines flight, there have been such disappearances of aircraft and ships. Larry Cush, the author of the book The Bermuda Triangle Mystery Solved, found that when the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle gained prominence, some people started creating their own stories, some of which were totally absurd and hadn't really happened. This is similar to the story of Ellen Austin. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration of the U.S. states that there is no evidence that the aircraft and ships that disappear in the Bermuda Triangle occur more frequently than in other areas of the ocean. The United States Coast Guard has even said that the Coast Guard of the USA doesn't even recognize the Bermuda Triangle as a hazardous area. The area of the Bermuda Triangle sees a lot of traffic from ships and airplanes, which increases the chances of such incidents happening here. Additionally, the area is often swept by hurricanes and the Gulf Stream, and the water is shallow. Despite the frequent hurricanes, the Bermuda Triangle area was not on the list of the world's 10 most dangerous bodies of water for shipping in 2013. Scientists believe that the mysterious disappearances have nothing to do with the Bermuda Triangle, and that it was actually a meteor seen by Christopher Columbus. That's it for today's video on the Bermuda Triangle. I hope you found it informative and intriguing. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this.